Let's read the Psalms again, Tree of Life version. Psalm 106. Adonai still faithful to Israel. Hallelujah. Praise Adonai, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. Who can speak of Adonai's mighty acts or declare his praise? Blessed are those who maintain justice, who do what is right at all times. Remember me, Adonai, when you show favor to your people. Visit me with your salvation, so I may behold the prosperity of your chosen ones. Exalt in the joy of your nation and give praise with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have acted wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not ponder your wonders, nor did they remember your abundant loving kindness, but rebelled by the sea at the Sea of Reeds. Yet he saved them for his name's sake, to make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Sea of Reeds, and it dried up, and he led them through the depths as through a wilderness. So he saved them from the hand of those who hated them, redeemed them from the enemy's hand. The waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. Then they believed his words. They were singing his praise. How quickly they forgot his works and would not wait for his counsel. In the wilderness they craved ravenously. In the desert they tested God. So he gave them what they asked for, but sent a wasting disease among them. Then they envied Moses in the camp, and also Aaron, the Holy One of Adonai. The earth opened up, swallowed Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. Also a fire blazed in their company, a flame consumed the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped a molten image. Thus they exchanged their glory for an image of a grass-eating ox. They forgot God their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, miracles in the land of Ham, awesome things by the Sea of Reeds. So he commanded their extermination. Had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn his wrath from destroying them. Then they scorned the pleasing land. They did not trust in his word. Instead, they grumbled in their tents. They would not listen to Adonai's voice. Therefore, he swore to them that he would make them fall in the desert and disperse their offspring among the nations, and scatter them through the lands. Then they yoked themselves to Baal of Peor, and ate the sacrifices of dead things. So they provoked him with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. But Phineas stood up and intervened, so the plague was stopped. It was credited to him as righteousness from generation to generation forever. By the waters of Meribah they angered him, and trouble came on Moses because of them, for they embittered his spirit, and he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as Adonai had commanded them. Instead, they mingled with the nations and learned their practices. They worshipped their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons 
and their daughters to demons. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and their daughters, sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. So the land was desecrated with blood. So they defiled themselves by their deeds and prostituted themselves by their practices. Therefore, the anger of Adonai was kindled against his people, and he abhorred his inheritance. He handed them to the nations. Those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies oppressed them, so they were subdued under their hand. Many times he delivered them, but they kept rebelling deliberately, and so sank low into their iniquity. Yet he saw their distress when he heard their cry, remembered his covenant to them, and relented in the greatness of his mercy. He caused them to be pitied in the presence of all their captors. Save us, Adonai, our God, and gather us from the nations, so we may praise your holy name and triumph in your praise. Blessed be Adonai, the God of Israel, from everlasting, even to everlasting. Let all the people say, Amen. Hallelujah.